Well, if you want to tell me that this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But few guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit, exceptionally quick on his feet, sets up angles beautifully, manages distance as good as anybody on the roster, knows how to set up his attacks, knows how to stay of his opponent's range, figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. This guy has some of the best throws we have ever seen inside the octagon. The speed of his execution and the technique that he uses in the delivery are truly world class. Well, good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's gotta watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy has devastating choking technique. If he can get a hold of your neck, he can close it off like very few in the world. This heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters and they both possess a similar height and reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Assassin. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, the professional. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of pride. The big shot to the liver. He's hurt bad. Right hand upstairs. Oh. Hard jab. That one hurt. So another takedown stuffed here. He wants to keep himself. He landed that punch flush. Wow. The left hook hits home. Now he wants to rotate to apply pressure. He's got it. He's free. Beautiful arm triangle escape. He's on top again. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. And he lands a hammer fist. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Excellent movement here on the ground. He survived, got back to his feet. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by moving right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Looks like this submission's locked. That choke is deep. This is getting tighter. He can tap any second. He 
got it, he got it. Will do Nicely it. done. He got in the choke, refused to tap, and went night-night. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if I'm most impressed with the setup or ultimately the technique to finish off the choke there, but his opponent showing off his patented toughness wasn't willing to tap, so ultimately he goes to sleep. A huge result that we are just digesting here tonight. Let's see it one more time. Got the arm in deep under the neck, locked in tight, and it's over before they even get a chance to tap. And one last time, excellent technique on that choke for the submission victory. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes of the very first round. For the winner by submission, the professional. Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought. Coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is going to be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved.